I see a whole bunch of birds on the table. But this does look like Seguso. Oh my, look at all the paperweights. I actually really love those mirrors with the candle lights on them. Oh my goodness. Look at all of these sculptures. It's incredible. Everything in this house is just incredible. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. I'm pretty tired. It was a very early start to the day with a new family member arriving uh, from Arizona. She took a little flight up here to Vegas. I cannot wait to introduce you to Eileen, who is our new tortoise rescue. Uh, but that'll be at the end. First, I got an email from one of the estate sale companies that I follow. And this estate sale was so good in pictures that I needed to get here on Friday versus I usually go on, you know, the second day, the discount day. Oh no, there are some amazing things inside this house. And I hope I'm not too late for you all to see uh, what I saw in those pictures. We are talking very high end glass. That's my weakness. All right, so I'm watching people go in already. I need to get up there. I need to get inside and see that glass. Let's get shop done. Well, it smells good in here. Oh, wow, where do you start? Oh. Where do we start? God, everything is everything is beautiful. This is like a built-in showcase. Let's see what we've got. It's a piece of Lalique. Of course we don't. Don't have a price on it. But this little piece of Lalique is 50. See, the other thing I can do by being here is be able to do a little research when I'm looking at this video. And then tomorrow, they're usually, usually do a discount day. And I can come back knowing what the values I'm I am really smitten by that piece of Lalique right there. See the faces? Oh, I love that. Love that. I love Lalique. Even that little, is that little dish back there? Look at the handles. Is that one really only $10? I might, I might have to snag that one. I might have to get that one. A little giraffe. Let's see if we can see who done it. It's like Perry and wear. It's really nice. I like this. The set of six angels is 40. <gasps> pixie. We're going to grab that pixie for 10. So the giraffe is Alden Accessories from New York. And it's beautiful. And it's like a it's like a Perry and wear for ten dollars. We are definitely grabbing that. And then this little piece, you can see there's the Lalique signature. Oh, maybe you can't see it. Sometimes it's really hard to get the camera to focus on it, but it's right there. This has like little leaf veining on it. So for ten dollars, we're gonna grab that one too. She's fab. Of course she's fab. She's 1956. We're grabbing her too. Oh, we gotta go through the other side over here. I see a whole bunch of birds on the table. Oh, they're all beautiful. Pheasants, peacocks. Oh, these are amazing. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. 
We've got a Murano glass elephant. Let's see, are you Murano? No, you're not Murano. You are not Murano. You are just an art glass elephant. Pretty spectacular, but I think that that price there is a little bit high. But this does look like Seguso. This looks like Seguso. Murano. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous piece. They're asking 85 on that. And then look at the swans. Look at the beak on the swan. Oh, 60 and 70 on his mate here. Let's go over here. $50 for the pair. I do believe these are not. No, look at that cloudy bottom. They fooled me. Yeah, you know, now that I look at the bubbles, look at the bubbles. So the bubbles are not even, they're not precise. So those are actually not Murano. But I do believe this piece is another Seguso piece. Absolutely spectacular fish for 60. Oh, he's got a broken, oh, he's got a broken thing. He's beautiful. If you look inside there, he's cased in a clear glass, but the the glass on the interior has multiple colors, almost like a what they call a peach blow. And then there's like a black highlighting. Really an incredible piece. Too bad it is chipped. I kind of like this uh, this piece of furniture here. Look at it's got the toll roses on it. Oh, they're asking seventeen fifty on that piece. And of course we have some more glass pieces, some metalware sculptures. I'm going to be taking a peek at all of the artwork here too because with this high end of a collection, there is bound to be some incredible art. This is kind of funny. So year 2000 glasses from the Bellagio. You can see they are etched Bellagio. Maybe for like a New Year's Eve function. And then they're right next to some incredible uh, Lalique. Oh, let's see. Who makes you? You are signed Des Desne? Desne? I don't know that name. That little bird is $15. Instead of, you know, like looking everything up, you know I have a bird collection. For me, I like this bird one way or another. He could be worth a lot more than 15, but either way, I'll get him and he can go in my own collection. Pretty Venetian glass. It's 40. Oh, these guys are cool. They're metal. Mosier, Marls. Carlsbad amethyst. That is glass. Oh, it's very as is. That's a shame. That's a shame on that piece. All right, let's grab our bird and put it in our pile. Oh, those look German. Those are beautiful. I know the glass is glaring a little bit. And there's another little pixie guy in here. Oh, I love. Hold on. I need to see this vase in here. Stand by. Yeah, let's see who makes you. You are occupied Japan. But this is what really caught my eye. See, it's inside this little holder. That is so Art Deco. What do you say on the bottom there? Oh, wait, there it is. Hmm, looks like January 30th. Is that a 75, I think? So it's got some customization on the bottom. Unfortunately, the painting on the bird on that side is really gone. So it's $40. We're gonna have to pass on that due to condition. I would have loved to have added that piece to my collection. Now that's a really cool piece. These are glass, 40 for the pair. Look, they were actually used for candles. Love them. That is another Archmed Seguso Murano piece that I would absolutely love to have in my collection. I don't have the budget right now. 
I have to be sensible, but oh, he's pretty magnificent. Oh, I want him. I want him in the worst way. And then there was a pig. Oh, he's Murano. Oh, he's only $15. Let's see. Are you damaged? No. Tails are there. Ears are there. Oh, he's incredible. Look at him. Oh, yes. We'll put him in our pile. This is another beautiful piece. Look at this fine, like, angel hair riggery on this piece. Unfortunately, it does have some damage. It's so delicate. It is a great piece of glass. Hurts my heart a little bit that it's damaged. And then there's a Murano elephant. Look, not all Murano is colored. He's pretty cool. He's $50. Some really beautiful pieces in here. That looks like looks like black forest wood but it's ceramic and painted from 1970. <gasps> that's gorgeous. I don't see a price on that one. Hmm. Might have to ask her. But this is what was really catching my eye. <gasps> Look at the fish on that. You are marked. Uh, Sweden. The man, Sweden. I think I need to look this one up. That's really incredible. Okay, I absolutely love this piece and I cannot find it anywhere. I do believe it's a majolica. Look at the blue interior. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay 75 for this. Oh, let's see. Piece of beautiful carnival glass. It's got a cobalt blue base color. It's probably a Northwood. $20, good price. I'm gonna grab that too. So there are some really good prices here. I did not think I was gonna be able to buy anything, but this is handmade France and it's $15. I don't know who done it, but for 15, we're gonna find out. And then we've got some art glass penguins. They've got like a smoky quartz coloring to them. Looking for a signature. I don't see one. It's 15 for the penguin, and it is 15 for the seal. I'm gonna get those too. Oh my, look at all the paperweights. They're all pretty much priced at $15 each. Look, $8.99 on the bottom of that one. These are something I would come back tomorrow and see what they have discounted. I don't see anything like super, super duper exciting except maybe this one. It's got its original. Jabloski. It's a Jabloski. You know what? I think I will get that one for 15 Peek at this one. I know I have a lot of people that really, really love paperweights. This is a this is a St. Clair 1971. That's probably a good pickup for 15 as well. But I am I'm gonna look that one up. So the prices are 50 for the Costaboda and 20 for the little ceramic vase. Okay, those are fun. L'Amour Propre from Italy. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that's funny. Okay. Look at this incredible piece. Look at the the little spoons, I think they all go in here and they make this blossom. Wow, that's kind of phenomenal. But this is a piece that I had my eye on in the pictures. That is so beautiful, $750. So that will not be coming home with me. I will just have to admire it from afar. Look at the legging on this stand for this bowl. Oh my goodness. 
This vase has its original tag right here. Let's see. What have we got? An R or a DS? DS. I don't know who that is. I think I just glazed over this Murano, Opaline Murano white glass lamp. How incredible is that? Very mid-century. That is mid-century personified right there. Look at the finial on that piece. Oh, you know what? I have seen these cobalt blue shakers before, but I don't think I've ever seen a creamer. Oh, and then it's porcelain inside. Oh, I guess it is porcelain. It looked like glass. I thought it was glass for a minute. That's really, that's really awesome. That's really awesome. I love that. And the basket. Are you marked? You are not marked. The little bar tools. Oh my gosh, look at the whole little set. So it's F.B. Rogers Silver Company. And it's got all the little salt shakers. That's 20 for each set, which seems like a really good price. Oh my gosh. Look at this candle holder. Mm. And these kitty cats. $20 for the pair. Do you have a name? Mm. Don't see one. Hmm, I'm gonna think about those. Really nice dishes. Ainsley, look how fancy those are. Oh, look at these. The set is 130, so there's a main plate on the bottom, and then there's all of these regular plates. They are I know that there's probably a way to pronounce that that I am not getting, but uh, those are beautiful. Those are beautiful, as is this set. Unfortunately, the platter has uh, had a little accident. Okay, I saw these still lifes in the pictures. They're not as good in person as they, as they looked like from afar. Those, those don't call to me so much oh that's these are the capitamonte fruit baskets where like that fruit is attached in there you want 40 on that and 60 on that one Ugh. i'm on sensory overload here just a little bit there's so much i love this set 180 for this made in Japan. You've got a creamer, an underplate, a little bowl, a ladle. I, the sun is like coming through this window so bright on this table. I apologize. It's probably a little hard to see these things. Oh, look at this little guy. Let's see, I'm getting a better light here. He's fun. Pitts and Floyd, $5. Uh, all his toes are there? They are, they are. We're gonna grab him. I love Fitz and Floyd. The quality of it is just incredible. Oh, look at these little monkey salt and peppers for $10. Those are cute. Oh, and the hippo plate. That's got to be Fitz and Floyd as well. I betcha, I betcha, I betcha. Yep, there it is. Fitz and Floyd Essentials. I'm not sure it's worth a whole bunch more than that. So we're going to... We're gonna leave him. We got our sights set a little higher at this sale right now. So let's uh, stay focused, stay focused. The piggy stuff is cute. Oh my gosh, the cat is cool. Little Indiana glass pumpkin. 10 is a good price for that, but I, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it the Shawnee Cat cookie jar. Oh, look at the toucan. He's pretty amazing. And then lots of serving and flatware, which is not really my, that's not really my thing. 
The cupboards are full of really nice glassware as well. My goodness. Okay, these little spreaders are fun. They're Hanukkah. But again, let's keep our sights a little higher. We've got an Edna Hybel plate, tribute to ancient Greece. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh look, see, it shows up everywhere. That stuff's been coming around Vegas for a while. There is something for everyone here. Literally something for everyone. Now here's something too. When there's a lot of really high-end things in an estate sale, oftentimes the more ordinary kitchen and you know things that they're not looking at as high-end can be very, very reasonable prices. $5 monkeys from World Market. Those canisters, those are kind of funny. But uh, we're also going to keep our sights a little bit higher, at least today. If we come back tomorrow, that's a whole nother story. These huge bags of postcards, old postcards, $10 for these old bags. Well, this has some Disney in it. Oh, I see Mary Poppins. I wonder if there's more. Oh, yeah, these are like all Disney. I'm going to grab those. What else is in the kitchen? That's kind of cool, but uh, I don't know if that person is supposed to be missing their head or, uh, yeah, I think it, I think it's had a little accident. I actually really love those mirrors with the candle lights on them. Oh, those are amazing. They are asking $900. I have no place to put them, even if I had $900. So, there is that. Little, little card holders. Made in Italy. That is also Lalique. Mm. These are just $5 each. The little glass flowers, and I do really well selling those. Not a big fan of shipping them, but, but, at five dollars a piece, I think I, I think I can make some really good money on those. I just found the uh, cabinet of my dreams right here. Oh, how gorgeous is that? Oh my gosh! Look at look at the detail on that carving at the top. I do believe this is Italian or French. Hmm. Really beautiful. Look at the. I think it's walnut. Oh man, this is gorgeous. And we're gonna get inside the case and look inside there too. They have to get somebody over to assist me. I'm still waiting for somebody to let me in the case, but I've been sitting here looking some things up. This Murano glass bird, which also is a Saguso piece. Uh, that one I'm gonna grab because that is a great price on that believe it or not at $80 but I'll show it to you closer when we get into the case they don't want me opening the case myself and we're also I'm debating on these they are the leak they are the uh, canes pattern they're cigar ashtrays they're not quite worth double that but there's a good margin there's a good margin to be had there I don't know I'm gonna debate I'm gonna debate those and not I have this pattern. It's uh, it's called anemone, I believe, uh, and I have several pieces. Those those prices are pretty spot on. But the bird, I must I must have the bird. Oh, that's heavy. That is a very heavy piece of glass. Very mid-century. I'm not sure who makes this one. That's actually a really incredible piece of glass for $20. It's not Murano. I believe this one is a Scandinavian maker. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. 
I'm gonna get that. And this is a cool piece. Also not Milano, I don't believe. I believe this one is Chalet. And the story goes, so Chalet is a Canadian company and some of the designers from Murano went and worked for that company and that's why they look so similar. And it's very high quality glass as well. A lot of sellers will sell it as Murano. But you can just tell it doesn't have the thickness of Murano. There's, the feel of it is just a little bit different. I'm, I'm gonna leave that one and we're gonna grab that one. All right, look at that. The mule and bath. Who makes you? <laughs> mule and bath, Carol. Grissand and Heidi Grigg. That's that's really fun. And Sir Blanc by Kandinsky. I don't. I'm not really a fan of like this abstract art. It doesn't doesn't tug at me at all. All right, we're just hitting the rooms now. Got a pair of these ladies at the fountain bookends. They are Art Brands K-O-W. Those are old. They are $50 for that pair. Look at the German Shepherds are $50. Uh, these are Turkish, these little paintings back here. I know those can be worth a bit of money. But I'm really, 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 really struggling with how much I can put in my pile because there's some great deals to be had, but it's a big investment too. Another postcards lot. It looks like these people were world travelers, is what it appears. There's such a variety of things and collections. These are all Ron Lee clowns. Not a fan. Not a fan. I like the Disney ones, but look at the Yadro elephant. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, it opens. It opens like that. How great is that? I kind of love that. Hmm, it's cool. I'm going to leave it. What is this? A crystal. It's kind of a block. It's very sharp. It's cut glass. It's got some damage. It's like a rolling pin holder. And then we have Murano clowns. Wow. I don't know. Probably different prices. Well, yeah, that's about right. All right, looks like we got a lot of clothing in this room and perfume bottles. Oh, goodness, I already see one that is worth picking up. This is Murano glass. Oh, look at that gorgeous, gorgeous gold aventurine with Bulacante for $20. Yes, please. This one is a signed piece, but I can't quite make out what that says. But it's a beautiful perfume bottle for $15. I'm going to grab it. I know I have people yelling through the screen right now saying, buy them all. But I just, I just can't. I mean, they're incredible. This is oh, Givenchy, Givenchy. And then you've got a six-piece bathroom vanity set in the like a purple, kind of a purple ombre for 150. Oh my gosh, that's probably a really good price. It's probably a really good price. And then you've got some Bohemian cut to clear pieces here. Oh, that is Lucite. I bet that glows. Wansetta. 
It's older that you know it is older. I bet that I bet that is Lucite. This one I'm not gonna take because this is not the stopper. That is the wrong the wrong stopper for that piece. But I wonder. Ooh, that almost works. But they have that on this one over here, which is not the right stopper either. Alright, I'm gonna leave those. Ooh, Lalique Eau de Cologne. So the bottle's gonna be Lalique. Oh, I bet that's what these all are. Yes, these are all Lalique perfumes. Those are pretty cool. But I'm gonna leave them. It is glass. Slide glass lamp. It's 350. Ooh, gorgeous. There's gorgeous things everywhere. I turned around and there's a few more perfume bottles on the bed here that's got some damage on it. And then look at this jewelry case. It is 40. For that, this one's 15, but it's it's damaged. Okay. I bet there are some incredible clothes deals here. I I almost would kind of wear this if I could get oh, <laughs> if I could get away with wearing it with leggings under it. I would wear this. I would I would do it. Okay, stand by. It's Karen Kane. I don't know anything about brands, but I just really like this dress. I'm gonna grab it. There's a little dolphin blue sight. This is a bathroom, and wait till I pan over here. Oh my goodness. Look at all of these sculptures. They are... Monique sculptures. They're acrylic. They are acrylic. And there's a bunch of them. Wow. I see more perfume bottles. It's interesting. Oh, the old Shalimar. That's pretty. Is that a candle? It, uh, something. Got the little hobnail, they call these barber bottles. Oh my goodness. I'm in overwhelm. Oh my gosh, look at all the little perfumes, all the little mini perfumes. I just sold a whole bunch of these in my whatnot sale last week. I think I'm not, I'm not gonna pick up any more of those. Oh, but I might need the green hand. How much are you? You are $75, so we don't need the green hand. The green hand is pretty cool though. Okay, the closet. Oh my gosh, where are all of my vintage clothing friends? They should be here. Because this closet is packed with some amazing things. Eva Varro. Hmm. I see a couple of brands I recognize, like, I can't even say it, Alberto something. I'll show you the label in a second. I already walked by it. But, oh. I like that. Is that my size? Oh, it's bougie blue. Stand by. That name. That name right there. Oh boy, we have a table. Table full of purses. Oh, the prices are a standard purse price. $20 each. So they're $20 each. There's probably some really good ones here, but I don't know enough to pay $20 each. So I will leave that for those who find this a niche. I'm in. Look at this one's got like a tortoise shell. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Candy wrapper purse. This one's not 
not the name brand. Got some faux ostrich. I mean, there's some nice purses here. This one's cute. Who makes you? I don't know. You don't have a name. No name on that purse. All right, we're gonna step away from the purses. Oh, look at that mirror. That's. It's incredible. Everything in this house is just incredible. Federal style mahogany desk. Look at. Oh, it's gorgeous. Carved soapstone collection. I am just, I'm on, I'm like, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I am literally like on overload <laughs> with my brain in this house. Nice cloisonne, 20. Cloisonne ginger jar, 20. These are very nice. There's Asian art, there's Italian art. I believe there's French art. They must have been world travelers. They must have been. Look at this hallway and the art in this hallway. And there's mid-century. They, they liked the uh, Kandinsky. They liked that art. Oh, here's what it really looks like. The one in the kitchen did have a head at some point because there's one that has its head. Oh, that's beautiful. Minton Stoke upon Trent and Caustic Tile. Those are gorgeous. This little girl is really cool for just five dollars. That's really old. I think we're gonna grab her too. Then you've got like some more folk arty type. This one is Michael De La Croix, Le Grand Sapia signed litho. That's pretty cool. And then up here, Judith Yellen. See, the, I, this does not appeal to me. This does not appeal to me, not my kind of art, but it is somebody's kind of art. The clowns, no, no to the clowns. I don't like the clowns. Lots of Asian art. These are painted on silk. Look at the facial features. So well done. $300, asking on this. And then a little Native American tile art thrown in. All right, now I'm kind of like walking back through and seeing what did I miss? Because I feel like I missed a lot. Look at these. They're saying they are sterling. There's the mark on the bottom. I know it's upside down. Sterling something something something. It's also really nice glass that I thought I saw an original sticker on, but I didn't. Why is it just fifteen dollars for sterling? That's what I would like to know. I, they don't really appeal to me so much. Like I don't know. I don't really care for that look. I'll leave those for somebody else. But um, oh, this bronze, on the other hand. Jo Descamps Comir. Oh, Comir. That's, yeah, that is a good name in bronze. And it's large. Let me stand back a little bit and you can kind of see how beautiful that is. We've got some, those look painted. It's just painted glass. Oh, wow. And then some nice, flowy, free, freeform pieces on the table. Got a piece of Lalique. Oh, and that little table chandelier is gorgeous too. There's one more little room. Little sun porch. Carousel horse. $2.50. The wicker chair is nice. Look at these humongous, humongous pieces. A little glass tree. Look at this bird house. Oh, oh. somebody's already bought that. I don't know what this is. 
Which one? Yes. Mm. Might have been a glass. Yeah, I think it, it held uh, probably it, a candle yeah, inside. Yep. Yeah. That chicken is kind of fabulous. Oh, you look Italian. Made in Japan. Oh, you fooled me. And whenever you get a chance, oh, how much it's is chipped. this? It's chipped. The sale is so crazy. I didn't even see this cabinet until I was checking out. And uh, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, that's a Stevenson Williams rose bowl right there, $8. That might actually be a really good price. I'm going to have to go home and do a little research. I may be back after I do my research. This is all Balik. Beautiful, beautiful Balik. And there's two shelves of it up here. Oh my. I'm looking at her. It says she's as is $5. Oh, I see her hand. Her hand's been repaired. But you know, I did just sell a uh, a a gobel piece, QP, for five hundred dollars that had been repaired. So that doesn't scare me away from a really nice piece. So I think I'm going to go ahead and grab her as well. And then I'm really, really going to check out and get out of here because I know I have spent. A lot of money. I will let you know what that total is momentarily. I'm kind of in love with this blue. <sighs> kind of in love with it. All right, no. I need to grab her and check out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I spent... Actually, I didn't spend as much as I thought I was going to. I, I did really good. I spent less than $500. And a couple of those pieces will make that back. Um, so I'm super excited that I picked up some incredible pieces. I got here on a Friday, so I'm going to be able to do some research as I'm editing this video and figure out what I might want to come back for tomorrow. Now, she said the discount, it won't be very much, but even a 10% discount, 10 to 15%, you know, on a hundreds of dollar item, that, that can be substantial. Uh, so I'll let you know what happens there. Be sure you are subscribed so you do not miss what's gonna happen next. Uh, and I will now share with you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. It's coming up right now. <laughs>